Hi there, this is a Steve Dog review of Stealth on the Nintendo Switch. Now this game cost me two or three quid. So what I'm going to do today is give you a review of the game and then tell you all about it in a nutshell and then tell you what I think the game's worth and then you can make your mind up whether or not you want to buy it for that price or not. So let's get straight into this. What on earth is Stealth? Well, this game is effectively a sneak em up. You have to sneak around, retrieve three stars without getting caught. You can play this offline, it's an offline game, and you can have two players or one player working on this game. So you can co op cooperate, it's a co op game if you like, or you can play it on your own. Now, on this game, the, the graphics are really basic, and as you can see, I'm the, the um, yellow dot, and then there would be a another color dot with me if it, my pal was joining me and you can see there look i can sneak up behind this guy they will only catch you if they can see you so the cone represents their field of view if you sneak up behind them and stay behind them for long enough you're effectively killing them or rendering them unconscious and you can drag them back out of the way so that they don't um, end up in someone else's field of view or you can leave them alone if you suss out that actually these um, patrols aren't going to find them. So the patrols follow standard routes in the first instance. But then if you disturb them, they can then go outside of those standard routes. They kind of go a bit rogue for a little while. Then they sort of um, re-engage on where they are. So it all gets a bit funny there. Like I, I managed to activate a route um, viewer so I can see where these guys go and stay far enough out of their way and try and sneak through so well, he spotted me now and now you're in trouble you can on occasion run away um, but if one or the other of you if you're on two player mode gets caught then you fail the level it can have advantages having two of you playing at the same time because one can maybe um, deal with one uh, of the um, patrols while the other one's dealing with another. So you can help each other out. And also you can clean level, uh, clear levels more quickly. But well, there's a few controls. You've got to press certain buttons. I think it's the shoulder button to grab the guy. Um, some guys are static. Some guys are moving. And then on later levels as well, allegedly, because I haven't got there, you've got um, security cameras and things like that as well, which um, can... Um, add a little bit of a different um, angle to things and also you, I think you can also set off um, uh, I suppose you call them distraction um, um, sound bombs and things like that to try and distract the, the um, patrols away from their from their designated path so um, there you can see I'm hiding behind a wall and bumped them 80 off move them out of the way don't really need to because the patrol isn't going to go up there anyway but i like to um put dead bodies tidily out of the way same in life as in this game folks you know um so i've got one more star to get now and then after you've got the last star um you then have to find your way out so um but as you'll see when I, when i'm was playing this i forgot about that so I ended up getting bumped at the very end because I thought this is all very good. I'll sneak past him, but I didn't realise that after getting the star, I needed to get out. So this is how it all goes wrong. So I'm thinking, great, got the star. This is all good. Uh-oh, now he's after me. I'm going to hide in the top corner and just hope he doesn't see me. But he turns around and he's got me. So oh my God. again, I lost that and had to re try the mission let's show you how i got on in the end let's fast forward on to that so here we are now back to the same sort of situation um i'm going to give this oh the, the stars appear in a different time each time you try the map as well so it's not exactly the same every single time um that has a little bit of variety so you might get lucky or not i'm going to give this a rating of four pounds if you can get this for the four pounds um or less i've bumped them off this time um it's well worth getting if you like sneak them up you know you can value you can value this a little bit higher so i'm giving this a rating of four pounds and that is 
stealth on the Nintendo Switch. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you guys on the gaming shmaming flip side. Loads of levels to unlock, folks. I couldn't have said it better myself.